Well, morning everybody, and welcome to a beautiful, beautiful morning here on Annapurna Base Camp, day two. I am in Tromrong, uh, where I stayed last night, and then today I will head on on, I can't even speak, I'm still uh, waking up. I will head on towards uh, Himalayan, I think, but uh, it's absolutely incredible this morning. I had a plan to, uh, to try and get up for sunrise, but that didn't happen, I was too tired I just delayed my alarm and then uh, carried on sleeping but it's about half seven now I've probably got some breakfast waiting for me downstairs but these mountains are incredible you've got the snow capped mountains over there then you've got fishtail mountain which is the uh, uh, the mountain that I trekked to um, at the beginning of, of this month in March uh, the Mardi Hamal trek that's the one you go and see but yeah, it's absolutely amazing just waking up surrounded by these green forest valleys and then, you know, looking higher up, you've got the snow-capped mountains. So the weather is out, the sun is shining, so it should be another beautiful, beautiful day. So I'm going to go and get some breakfast and then we will uh, continue on to Himalayan and uh, day two of the Annapurna base camp. Right then, back on the road for another day of hiking. Probably about six hours today to the uh, the village that I need to get to called Himalayan. So uh, should be a nice day again with the mountains either side. So I've just got to walk through Chomrong and then get down to the river and then cross over because Sinua, which is the first village that I've got to walk through, is over there on the other side of the valley so I just had a, uh, a checkpoint stop where you just have to show your permit for the, uh, the Annapurna region she said she's only seen three people so far but obviously it's quite early it's still like nine o'clock but she said there's a lot of snow up the top um, and it's avalanche prone. So I'm gonna be careful, obviously the higher up I go because obviously I don't wanna get caught in an avalanche because then you won't even see this video. <laughs> Not sure what this is called, I think it's a stupa. And then downhill towards the river. Namaste. Hey, bro. Beautiful. Chomrong is uh, the biggest village, I think, on this Annapurna base camp. It just said they have about 15 guest houses and all the others have about three to five or two to five so the, the villages will start to get smaller the higher I go Namaste going about just under two hours so far it was pretty much all uphill with those steps but now it's kind of flattened out a bit kind of into the forest which is nice and for some reason I got phone signal so I can listen to some music which makes a hell of a difference next village bamboo about another hour away or so. Hello. Uh, hello. I've 
just been caught in a mini hailstorm just after I left after lunch hopefully that doesn't turn to rain the hail's not too bad because it doesn't really get you wet it's just annoying I did get my drone out earlier, however, some porters were behind me, which I didn't realize, they were a few minutes behind, and then they, and they stopped and were videoing and taking pictures of my drone. So I kind of shit my patents because I thought, bloody hell, they could be, you know, sending it to the national park, police or whatever, God knows. So uh, hopefully I don't get stopped for them trying to take my drone. But uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to risk flying it because I just don't want to get it taken away from me and I don't want to cause any problems or issues, you know, with helicopters or avalanches and stuff like that. So it's not worth it. I think next time I'll just leave it. So unfortunately, I haven't been able to use my drone at all on any of these treks. I'm sure you can get away with it, but I just don't fancy risking it when you're up here because they might try and find me you know a few thousand rupees or something so definitely not worth it that is awesome I have not seen that before nice little shoot of bamboo wicked <laughs> very fresh mountain water that nice and cold This looks sketchy, man. Shit. Fuck me. Fuck that shit, man. Shit. Fuck that shit! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh man, I could have just walked there, I didn't even see the path. Look at this! I mean, I wasn't going to fool far, but... Still, I don't want to fool in the water and on rocks. Oh, my heart's going! <laughs> Another dodgy bridge. Because it's raining, it's so slippery now. Et voila. Nothing like a bit of adventure. It's beautiful though, this. Walking through the river, the forest, the valley. The mist is coming in. High valley cliffs either side. Lovely stuff, man. Woo! Made it to Himalayan. It's that village just there, a couple of hundred meters away. I think, anyway. So the last stretch, last push, and then, as usual, find a guest house to stay in, get a shower, get some food, and chill. But wow, it is nice here. You can't really see it on the GoPro, but it's so foggy. There's mountains just here, all covered in snow. Very nice. I've just hidden my bag in a tree problem is I don't know how far back I left my hat I'm hoping it's just where that waterfall was which was about 20 minutes but it's worth it 
I love my hats out here when I travel. <laughs> oh, it's so bloody annoying though. Oh, he's proper hailing down as well. My hat's not here. Ah, oh, crap. Now I've got to run all the way back up and hopefully someone hasn't eaten my bag. Where the hell did I leave my hat? Ah! So annoying, I always lose hats. My brother got that for me for a present. Sorry, Ed. I'll have to get another one. Don't know where I left it. Can I stay? Hello. You have rooms? Room? Yeah. 100%. One. Uh, how much is the room? 250. Okay. With hot water? Huh? With hot water? No. Can you do with hot water? Yes, sir. How yeah. much? How much? For the shower? Yeah. 200. For bucket shower? No, no, no. Regular. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Number two, yeah? Yeah. Well, found my room. Room number two. Hey, boy. Two hundred rupees, but no shower. Oh, that's okay though. I probably won't shower tonight. I shall go without two hundred and fifty rupees actually. Ah, oh, I'm gutted about my hat. This is the room, by the way. <laughs> Very standard as always. Right, I'm gonna. What am I gonna do? Rest. Sort my bag out. Chill, eat. <laughs> <laughs>